Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel SG Education. Today we will see Class 7 Subject Science Chapter 18 Sound Production of Sound Exercise Solutions. Question 1 Fill in the blanks. Question A Sound is generated by the rhythmic fill in the blank of any object. Answer Vibrations. Question B The frequency of sound is measured in fill in the blank. Answer Hertz. The frequency of sound is measured in Hertz. Question C. If fill in the blank of sound is decreased, its loudness also decreases. Answer Intensity. If intensity of sound is decreased, its loudness also decreases. Question D. A medium is necessary for fill in the blank of sound. Answer Generation. A medium is necessary for generation of sound. Question 2. Match the pairs. Column A. Flute, frequency, sound level, ultrasonic sound, infrasonic sound. Column B. Frequency, less than 20 hertz. Frequency, more than 20,000 hertz. C. Vibrations in the air. D. Measured in hertz. E. Decibel. Answer. Flute, vibrations in the air. Second. Frequency, measured in hertz. Third, sound level, decibel. Four, ultrasonic sound, frequency more than 20,000 hertz. Fifth, infrasonic sound, frequency less than 20 hertz. Question three, give scientific reasons. Question A, in earlier times, people used to listen for the arrival of a distant train by putting their ear to the rails. Answer, it was a technique that worked better in those days when train speed were slower than they are today and when there were more chill rail joints. When people would put their ear to the rail, they could hear vibration caused by the wheels moving over the joints. Metal being a solid is an efficient medium for the sound to travel and so the sound can propagate further in the rail than wood in air at speed of sound is faster in solids than in air question b the sounds generated by a tabla and sitar are different answer in tabla where leather is fitted sound gets generated when the leather surface is thumped by fingers or or palm the waves thus created travel in two dimensions Sitar is having strings attached to pumpkin box called sound box. Sounds generated by tabla and a sitar are different because they have different pitch and frequencies. Question C. If you wear both on the moon, your friend will not be able to hear you call. Answer. Yes, your friend will not be able to hear your sound because sound needs a medium for the transmission since it is a mechanical wave. It cannot travel through vacuum. As there is no air on the moon and sound is actually vibration in air. So astronauts communicate to each other by signals or microphones in space even when they are closer. Question D. We can hear the movement of a mosquito wings but we cannot hear the movement of our hands. Answer. Humans cannot hear frequency less than 20 Hz. In the movement of hands, oscillation does not does take place but it's less than frequency that humans can hear. Mosquitoes wings flap in air. When they fly in air, it produces buzzing sound in our ears. The movement of mosquito wings produces sound greater than 20 Hz. Sound in the reception of such waves and their perception by the brain. Question 4. Write answers to the following questions. Question A. How is sound produced? Answer. Sound is generated due to the vibration of an object. Example. Bell, string or diaphragm of a musical instrument. Vibrations are imparted to the molecules in the air. These vibrations reach our ears through the air and the sound is heard. Vibrations of an object is necessary for generation of sound. These vibrations in air are called traveling. 
longitudinal waves which we can hear question b what does the intensity of sound depend upon answer the intensity of sound is proportional to the square of the amplitude of vibration example if the amplitude is doubled the intensity of sound becomes four times therefore the loudness or softness of sound is dependent on the intensity of sound and sound level question c explain how the frequency of oscillation is related to the length of a pendulum and the amplitude of its oscillation answer given an oscillatory motion to the pendulum the maximum distance between the original position a of the pendulum and extreme position b or c is called the amplitude of oscillation ab and ac is the amplitude of oscillation the number of oscillations completed by an oscillator in one second is called frequency of oscillation relation between frequency and length of a pendulum if the length of pendulum increases the period of oscillation also increases we know time period of oscillations is equal to 1 upon frequency if time period increases frequency decreases therefore if the length of pendulum increases the frequency will decrease relation between frequency and amplitude frequency of oscillation is independent of its amplitude of oscillation question d explain the two ways by which the pitch of the sound generated by a stretched string can be changed answer a string vibrates with a particular fundamental frequency it is however possible to produce pitches with different frequencies from the same string the two properties of the string that affect its its frequency are length and diameter when the length of a string is changed it will vibrate with a pre different frequency shorter strings have higher frequency and therefore higher pitch when a musician presses her finger on a string she shortens its length the more finger she adds to the string the shorter she makes it higher will be the pitch diameter thick strings with large diameter vibrate slower and have lower frequency than the thin ones our our chapter 18 sound production of sound exercise solutions are completed if you like this video and want to see the similar videos then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel sg education thank you